In this video we'll look at the tool strip, which is in the workspace of Vertex 3D and visible in both the 2D drawings and the 3D models, but we'll offer different options for each. For example, 2D has options for accessing the layers and different selection commands, whereas the 3D has different view options. This tool strip is able to be hidden unless hovered over using the pin option here. Having it pinned will leave it on permanently. You're also able to determine if it is displayed at the top of the active window or to the right using this function. Next we have the Verify Distance tool, which allows you to select two points and then BD will calculate the various distances between them in different axes and planes. In terms of the tool strip, there are a couple of very useful commands. The selection filter is one of those. You're able to select from a list of building elements, which means you can select only those elements in the model. Elements such as wall members will also let you do further filtering so that you can only select a specific library or profile code from the model. Another useful feature is the release on release window, especially if you have a dual screen setup. This will allow you to release the current working window from BD so you could place the window in the other screen and see both 2D and 3D windows at the same time. In terms of the differences in the tool strip between 2D and 3D, we will begin with the 2D. Here we have the standard rectangular selection method, where a rectangle is drawn and any element within is selected. Alternatively, there is the polygon method, which allows you to select points and anything within those points is selected. Finally, there is the crossing polygon method, which not only includes what is within the polygon, but any element it intersects with also. Next, we have the layers. The first is make all layers visible. This will turn on all layers within the drawing, with the exception of those defined as hidden in the settings. Next is Select Layers from List, which opens the Layers menu of the Project Document Browser and Model Tree. Here you can turn on and off various layers, and also switch to other layer groups, which are set categories of layers, which have various layers turned on and off. You can also select from Favorite Layer Groups with the next command. Next we have the hide layers function, which allows you to then select various layers in the drawing and these will be hidden. The final layer function is restore default layers, which will turn on all the default layers including any that are hidden. Next we have zoom extents. This will zoom the active drawing to the maximum size it can be in the current workspace and also alter the drawing limits. There is also a window zoom option here, where a window can be drawn with two points and the drawing will be zoomed to suit. Previous zoom takes us back to the last known zoom. As noted before, the tool strip in the 3D workspace has different options. These four here allow you to limit the search of the cursor in the model, so that it only snaps to points, lines, faces and other parts within an assembly. These can be used in combination with each other and can be toggled on and off, with the changing colour to the rest of the tool strip denoting that they are active. These next four options allow you to quickly alter the projection of the model from front, top and both left and right sides whereas this option switches to an isometric view. This option allows you to pick a plane from the model to change the projection to. Finally, there is the option here of choosing from further views. The shaded wireframe option will toggle between the default OpenGL presentation and a plane no color wireframe. We then have 3D limiting options. The first set 3D limits, which adds a polyhedron around the model. Planes can then be selected for use as limiting planes and the mouse can be moved to set the limit point with the left mouse button setting it. Other faces can then be limited in turn. You can remove the 3D limits with the next option. Finally, we have an option to mark parts. This can be useful to assign a color to a loose or oversized part, for example. It can also be used in conjunction with the engineering component to see where it exceeds a part's stress index. This concludes our video on the tool strip. Thank you for watching.